the Rubik's Cube. It's a puzzle, a metaphor, a hit toy, and it will soon be a museum exhibition. The Cube's founder, Erno Rubik, is visiting the Liberty Science Center in Jersey City, New Jersey, to help put it together. He says he discovered the Cube more than he invented it. The Cube is a very special item. In my view, it's part of nature, and uh, uh, it's not a... Not a, how can I say, it's, for me it's not an artificial uh, object, it's a natural one. In 1974, Rubik created the cube in his native country of Hungary to teach design students about three-dimensional space. More than 500 million have now been sold around the world. The cube uh, is a great challenge what is formulated without words. So uh, I, if uh, I give the cube to anybody, anywhere, speaking on any languages, uh, uh, he understands what to do. The exhibit will open in April of 2014 at the Liberty Science Center and then will travel around the world. People all over the world have taken Rubik's cubes and done things with them. Not a week goes by when somebody doesn't do something novel. They run the London Marathon and you know, unscramble 40 while doing that. If you look on the floor of the U.S. Senate or Congress, more than 400 times people have used the expression Rubik's Cube. You know, your Social Security policy, it's a Rubik's Cube, or peace in the Mideast, it's a Rubik's Cube. One feature of the exhibit is a diamond-covered Rubik's Cube created by jeweler Fred Cuellar. He says it's worth about two and a half million dollars. Cuellar became hooked on the toy when he was seven years old. My dad puts a Rubik's Cube into my hand, and I remember looking at it and thinking, God, I feel good. I, don't, I couldn't explain it. That was until he tried to solve it. I set it down. It scared me. At the time, I realized that I was looking at something that had supersymmetry. 43 quintillion, that's what they tell me, uh, possible combinations, they said, of chaos. Wow, that's, that kind of sucks. One chaos, <laughs> I mean, one order, and all, of this, and all of this chaos. According to Rubik, one in seven people on the planet has played with the puzzle. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, Jersey City, New Jersey.